Hi everybody, it's me, Greg Manorino. How are you today? All right, my friends, today we're going to do something a little bit different. Um, I want to discuss a couple of things that I feel are incredibly important um, with regard to situations unfolding, uh, not just here in America, but on a global scale. But let's start here. I think that American people, for the most part, have lost the ability to ask questions. Um, they're afraid to do it for many, many reasons. Our, our government keeps us in fear um, and, and they keep us confused. And certain things have been going on now for several years, right under the noses of the American people um, and the people of the world that really need to be discussed. And that's what I want to do here. Um, I want to start a dialogue um, with those of you that feel like commenting on this video to some of the questions that I'm going to pose here and some of these ideas that are literally happening right under our noses. Let's start here. It took over 200 years to build up a national deficit of $8 trillion. We are now just under the $17 trillion mark here in the United States. So think about it. It took over 200 years to build up the first half and just about five to double that. That's very profound. In fact, it's beyond profound. And we need to start asking questions of why, why that is going on here. Because understand that burden, that debt burden is yours. You own it. It's on the backs of your children. They own it. And trust me, we already have seen this in other parts of the world. The financial institutions are not going to be allowed to take those losses. You're going to take them. Why? Because you own the debt. People feel disconnected to this. They don't feel like they own it. That's the sense of entitlement here in the country. But you own it, no matter how you want to slice the pie. And they will get paid. You will pay them. Um, the banks have created a completely twisted and distorted system. They created the financial crash of uh, 2007, 2008, understanding that they were too big to fail, that the American people would be forced to bail them out because the consequences would have been so dire. But let me say this. The crash of 2007-2008, that was the party over moment, everyone. What we're in now is a side effect, and the side effect is terminal. Um, these banking institutions are completely insolvent. Regardless of what you hear on, on the mainstream media channels about what their worth is and how many billions they have laying around, it's, it's not true. Understand that. They all operate on a fractional reserve system. Uh, your cash is not in your bank accounts. Um, they take that cash and they loan it out on a multiplier. And they've gotten themselves all buried under enormous amount of what is called leverage. Okay, They take your money and they, they uh, multiply that multiple times, uh, sometimes 50 to 1. Uh, and they take risky bets with it. So understand, all the financial institutions are bankrupt uh, and they're playing with your money. This le is going to lead to devastating um, financial losses for you uh, and your family. And this is why you need to be in hard assets, period. Get out of their scheme. Okay. Let's move on to this. Um, any of you out there that understand military tactics will understand what I'm about to say. Right before any war starts, several things are in play. Number one is a military buildup, whether it's done overtly or covertly. Here in the United States, we've seen a transformation of the police. They are now militarized. They've become a paramilitary force. They wear military uniforms. They're armed with military weapons and military uh, tactics. 
Okay, right here, every state in the union is the same thing. Um, so, you know, to protect and serve, to protect and serve who? To protect and serve the people or to protect and serve those that are in power here in the United States? Understand, um, that is the first step in the military buildup is, excuse me, in, 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 in the conquest during a military uh, action of any type is to build up a force that can deal with it. Now, they are being armed, again, with weapons that you would see on a battlefield, battlefield vehicles, rifles that fire around similar to this one, 223. Um, pretty much a, 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 a weapon with devastating terminal performance. What else do we know? Well, we know this for a fact. The United States government um, has now purchased over 1 billion, B, billion rounds of 40 caliber ammunition. Not just good old fashioned stuff that you would use to target, let's say, you know, uh, a bottles or to practice shooting. And that would be something like this. That's a 40 caliber full metal jacket round that you would use for like target shooting. No. They have these. That's a 40 caliber hollow point. Okay? This round has one purpose and one purpose only. To take down a human target. Um, this round was built from the ground up by Smith & Wesson as just that. The ideal round to take down a human target. Um, there are some estimates that they have over a billion and a half of these. Even if we lowball it and say a billion of these hollow point human killers, what do they need them for? Um, that, that's enough of that alone ammunition to take out every man, woman, and child in this country multiple times over. So you can see this military buildup happening right under our noses. What else is happening right under our noses? Well, the next step in a military campaign, surveillance, okay? We're being surveilled. We know this for a fact. It's all over the mainstream media. It's everywhere. Look on your street corners. There are cameras everywhere. They monitor your phone calls, your emails. They know where you shop. Um, everything that you do is being recorded in one way or the other. They are surveilling us. So we have a military buildup. We have surveillance. The next step which is actually happening now is the curtailing of information, um, not allowing people to understand what's really going on here. Um, also the propaganda machine, the feeding of the people of misinformation to keep people off balance and keep them confused. The next step is going to be a cutting off of communication in some way and they're going to chalk this up to, you know, you, we need to do this for, for, for to protect the, the, the American people for some reason. Understand, people, this whole thing boils down to this. We are now literally in the midst of a collapse of the financial system. We've already seen the first part of it happen. That was the, the crash of 2007, 2008, which devastated the world. Um, now we've seen the central bank step in and try to prop this all up by printing cash out of thin air. We've seen the United States dollar value plummet. There's a currency war going on here. We see social unrest going on around the globe. Just turn on your television and you can see it. They're not blocking it yet. Uh, social unrest to the likes of which we've really never seen before and it's getting progressively worse. Uh, the debt problems in Europe are right here again at the forefront. They've never been solved. The problems here in the United States as well have never been solved. Understand, this is a side effect, people. The financial collapse that is going to happen is what is prompting the military buildup in the United States, the surveillance in the United States. They're also trying to disarm us 
Understand, it's all part of the same thing. Um, that's all we've been hearing about. For months now, they want to take away our guns. We now understand that many states are imposing taxes, extra taxes, on the purchase of firearms or the purchase of rounds of ammunition. They're, they're trying to make it very hard to, for people to get their hands on weapons. They want the people as easily as possible to be subdued. Um, because they understand what's going on, people. They are clearly aware of everything that is unfolding. The financial system is bankrupt, completely bankrupt. And that means you're bankrupt. Your money is not in the bank. When these banks begin to fail, and they will again, your cash will be gone. Zero, if that's where you have it. Um, this is why I'm an advocate of holding hard assets specifically gold and silver um, because they're real money the central bankers they do not want you in these assets why well because they want you playing their game understand that people I think we're going to see this whole thing unfold with a greater speed as we move forward into the next year or two and I want more and more people to understand where this is going, what their grand plan seems to be. So I know I'm leaving a lot out here um, with regard to the military buildup here in the United States, with regard to the surveillance that is going on, uh, and a whole plethora of other issues. And that's why I want to start a dialogue here between all of you. Let's really start to talk about this. Let's start to get more people aware of what is going on. Why does the government need a billion and a half of these hollow point 40 caliber rounds? People shredders. 223 two, rounds. This happens to be a 306, but it's very similar to this. Why do they need things like that? Because they're well aware of what is coming. Anyway, people, I'm going to end this video now. Um, for those of you that follow this blog, you know that I do this on business days. Tomorrow is a, is a half day with regard to the market. Uh, so I will not be doing a video tomorrow or on July 4th. I will do one on Friday. People, please, if you feel that this video is important and people need to hear this, we'll get involved in a dialogue here and try to make sense of what's going on. I am urging you to do two things. One, hit the like button. And two, share it with as many people as you can. I really feel that times are very desperate here. And they're going to get much, much worse despite the propaganda that we're hearing from the mainstream media. And I think it's up to all of us who maybe have an idea of what is going on to try to get others to understand as well. That's it. All of you have a happy and safe fourth. Take care.